Okay, so if you're anything like me, uh, you use the Arduino Uno to create hobby projects. Uh, and it's a lovely little board, and very often when I'm creating hobby projects, I'll prototype it using a breadboard. The problem is that you end up with a lot of flying leads uh, all over the place. Now in this case, what we've done on each board, we've got 15 LEDs. I've got five whites, five greens, five blues, and here are the uh, current limiting resistors for each one. Uh, I'm taking all of the digital and analog signals, apart from three analog signals. So that's 15 signals that we've got coming over uh, to the first board. Then we jump from there to the second board, jump from there to the third board. And the three remaining analog signals I'm using to activate each board. So uh, we can go through all sorts of different patterns and everything. But the bottom line is we've got lots of flying leads all over the place. And it's, it's really a bit awkward. Not the least that, for me, whenever I'm moving this around, I keep on pulling wires out by mistake. And so I spend an awful lot of time trying to work out which guy wire goes in which hole on the breadboard. Uh, there's got to be a better way. And in fact, I've got another Arduino Uno here, and it's plugged into a workbench board from uh, Logiswitch IC uh, or Logiswitch.net. Um, what they've done here, so there's a standard footprint header, uh, so you can still plug shields on top, but they've broken out all of the, the power and ground, 3.3 volts, 5 volts ground, all of the analog pins, all of the digital pins, and they've done that on all three sides. So we can take all of this and replace all these wires with this board, and I'll show you that in the next video.